Hello everyone in Cyber World, welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer, and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week we're going to show you how to install, and we're going to review this smart video doorbell. And the smart indoor camera. Not long ago, we purchased some floodlights with security cameras and we made a video on how to install them. A little after we posted this video, we were contacted by the company and they asked us if we would like to do a review on a couple of their other products. We agreed to this under the stipulation that we would allow to be able to uh, provide our honest opinion, be it positive or negative. The company agreed to this and to me that was a great start because this means that the company stands by their product. I thought that was wonderful. The floodlights with security cameras had many features that we really liked. And one of the items we're going to install today is the smart indoor camera that has some of these features. In addition, we will be installing a uh, um, smart video doorbell. Uh, this particular model that we're going to be installing is using a battery. They do have um, options that you can purchase for both a battery or hard wiring. Uh, we have decided to go with this battery oper operated one because the doorbell that we actually have on our front door is located in the most bizarre location and if we installed this as a replacement and hardwired it, uh, it would mean that we would probably see the person's belly button instead of their face and I really didn't want to do that. So instead we're going to put it in a location that will provide a good angle of the person who approaches and then actually uh, rings the doorbell. Uh, the features that we really like on this one here is that it records in 1080p, it has night vision, and it, uh, it also allows us to talk to the person on the other side and hear, hear them as well. And we can do this from anywhere in the world. Now remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and leave a comment. And let's go ahead and take a look at the video. When we put in a little bit of thought to decide where we were going to place this and we decided to put it here on this counter kind of hidden in between our phone and our, our network um, Orbi here. Uh, the reason that we decided to do this is if we put it on the ceiling it might be something that's a little bit more noticeable and I, I didn't want if ever there was a break-in didn't want anybody to to see it and try to go over there and, and throw it away or destroy it and, and remove the, the memory card before I even had a chance to uh, uh, actually download and see what's going on. So. We've, we're hoping that this would be something that if someone breaks in, they wouldn't notice it as much. And it still works out great because this thing has the ability to uh, move and change its angles and view things from, from different angles and so forth. So this is gonna be working out, work out really well. But as I mentioned, uh, there is the option here that there's a base on this that, that you can actually um, mount on the wall or on the ceiling. And so there's several different ways that you can do this. But as I mentioned, uh, in our particular case, we're just going to be placing it on our counter right here. To begin, download and open the Fight Electric app. Click on the plus sign on the top right to add a new device. Then click on Security and Cameras. Then select Camera. Follow the instructions and power on the device. Next, hold the reset button for 5 seconds until you hear a tone.
When you see the red blinking light, click Next Step and Confirm. Select your Wi-Fi name, enter your password, scroll down and click Next. Face the QR code now displayed on your phone to the camera and wait for the beep. Click on I heard the beep. Now it's just a matter of the app installing the device. Select the room where the device is located, then click Done. And boom, it was that simple. And now you have full control of the camera. Now for the installation of the doorbell. Was that simple or what? To install the doorbell, follow the same instructions as we did on the indoor camera. For this installation, be sure to click the doorbell icon. Before we show you or even tell you anything more about these devices, you're going to be hearing a lot of noise in the background. We live in Hawaii and there's a large traditional uh, Chinese community here. And in the Chinese tradition, fireworks are huge during New Year's. It's not quite New Year's uh, yet, but people are setting them off nonstop. So uh, we really can't record any time where we're not gonna pick up fireworks. So if you hear a bunch of explosions, don't sweat it, it's just the fireworks. Okay, now, so anyhow, let's take a look at uh, what we see when we use the doorbell. What are you doing outside? I forgot my keys again. Next, we're going to show you how the indoor camera can be used to change directions so that you can see anywhere in the room. And here's something I captured using the night vision. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing? Um, I was looking for the scissors. Yeah, right. I still see you. The smart indoor camera was very easy to use. The visibility on the night and day vision was excellent. The camera responded to the app very quickly and we highly recommend it. The smart video doorbell 
has a lot of the similar features of the floodlight and the indoor cam that we uh, we used. And uh, it was overall, it was actually really good. The quality of the picture that you can see and whatnot was, uh, was very nice. However, there were a few problems with this that I wasn't super keen on. One of the initial things is we have about a 90% connectivity to this, meaning that it's a good Wi-Fi connection. We have a floodlight that's just a few feet above it faced in another direction for people coming towards the door. And the floodlight is always connected and it always works. This doorbell, no matter how many times we tested, when the button was pushed, it took a while before it responded on the app and notified us. Uh, the tendency was then to think, uh, the person pushing the button since there's nothing to let them know that the doorbell rang or that anybody's on the other side is even aware that they're in the door it took so long the tendency was to push the button again and they're thinking well did it work or not so it would be nice if uh if somehow they would put something on the doorbell itself that would ring or chime so that the person knows that when they push the button it did take effect now that being said we used the battery um, setup, so it was only running off the battery. Much to my surprise, I wasn't aware of this when we first well, opened this and went to install it. This particular model, although it's battery, has the capability of hot wiring it, or I should say hard wiring it. You hardwire it in place of the door that you want, so you can use either feature. Now, my understanding after talking with the, the company was that if you hot wire it, then it will work with the chime in your house so if a person presses a doorbell, they would hear the chime within. Unfortunately, when you're using the battery, that does not work. Um, other than that, the speed on it between the time that the person pushes the button and the time that it reaches the, the, the smartphone was a little delayed. Again, that could be from the actual uh, smartphone. It could be our Wi-Fi connection or our, our uh, cellular connection. Uh, but no matter how, how many times we try it, it just seemed that the quick reaction uh, while testing it was, did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Um, in addition, the uh, floodlights had a feature on its app in which after it's recorded, it, it sensed something with motion, it would record it. And when you use the app, there was a playback feature. And the playback feature, when you, when you click on it, you would actually see a list of dates and times of when it performed a recording. And you could choose a specific date and time, and it would you'd be able to watch um, what was recorded. Unfortunately, on both the indoor cam and the, the doorbell, uh, the app is the exact same app and they both have playbacks and I just can't figure out, but there is no option with specific dates that you can click on. There's a timeline and you can move the timeline to a specific bar where you can tell something was recorded and view it there. But uh, I think if they use the same app feature, it would make these things even better. All in all, I have to admit, I'm slightly disappointed because of the connectivity and the no response feature on this, but it is a good doorbell. The picture quality is great and you definitely can see who's on the other end. And if I'm anywhere in the world, even if there is a slight delay, I would be able to communicate with that person. And if it's somebody of uh, questionable uh, reasons of being at our door, we can always uh, tell them to go away. So. Anyhow, uh, these products turned out really well. We're going to be using those, and uh, we do encourage you to give them a try as well. Next week, we're not sure exactly which one of our few projects that we're going to display, so until we meet again, bye-bye.